My name's Dave Green, I'm an artist and I work with lucid dreams. A lucid dream is a dream in which you're aware of the fact that you're dreaming. I've had fairly regular and spontaneous lucid dreams ever since I was a child. I had quite bad nightmares and at some point I learned to change the course of the dream to deal with these nightmares. Sometimes people say you can control the dream, but it might be more accurate to say you can influence the dream. As well as conjuring drawings out of my lucid dreams, I also do portraits of people. I'll meet the dream version of them in my lucid dream. I locate a dream pen and a dream piece of paper, and I'll create their portrait in the dream world, and then wake up and recreate that artwork in waking life. It's quite hard to dream about someone who you don't really know. So a lot of the time it'll be a random person who contacts me on the internet. So what I'll do is I'll arrange a conversation with them on Zoom. Hey, hello Brian. Yeah. Any background on me? I mean, or, or do you like to go in with a lot of information or a little information? Or What's your relationship like with your, your dreams? So I'll get to know them a little bit, just so it makes it easier to dream of them. If I'm planning to meet a specific person in my, in my lucid dream, there's a few different rituals that I'll do to help increase my chances. I might pace around the room a bit and rehearse the actions that I'm intending to do in the lucid dream. I'm gonna have a lucid dream. I'm gonna meet Brian Green. I'm gonna create his portrait. I might meditate for 10, 20 minutes before I went to bed. I might place the pen and paper on my desk and literally just write my goal for that lucid dream on the paper. I'll grab my pen and I'll put that in my pajama pocket. So when I roll over, I might kind of feel that on my leg. It sounds kind of ridiculous, but that will help me remember what I'm planning to do. Drawing in a lucid dream is nothing like drawing in waking life because everything in a dream is in a constant state of flux. Nothing is stable for more than a couple of seconds until it transforms into something else. Although I'm aware of the fact I'm drawing in the dream, most of the content of the drawing is out of my control. It's like an interaction between my conscious and my unconscious mind playing itself out on the page in real time. So how did it go? How did it go? The dream started without any visual, so I was just feeling my way around. Usually the person would just sort of appear and go, Dave, here I am, but it didn't happen. Sounds weird, but I kind of felt, I felt something. I was like, hang on, that's someone's face. And then I told myself, that's going to be Brian Green. And then you kind of, you emerged, and from there all the visuals kicked in. That's great. That's great. And then from there, I held up this piece of paper and then some drawings started to appear on the paper, and that's, so if I spin it around, this is. <laughs> so when I told you it wouldn't necessarily look like a traditional portrait, that's kind of why. Yeah, I, I would say that it doesn't quite look like a traditional portrait. I, I agree with that characterization. So like, what am I looking at? To be honest, they remain as mysterious to me as they do to, to anyone most, most of the time. This is my favorite one. So I, I met Dream Brian Green, the dream version of you, and I gave you a pen and paper. Oh, you did? Okay. And you instructed me to draw me, or you instructed me to draw anything? Just draw anything. Okay. So that, so that's that one. Wow. That's very so cool. It's quite funny, actually. You started scribbling, but you didn't want to look at the paper. So you were looking away like that, and you're just drawing like this, and you just scribbled a face. And you were drawing yeah. a self-portrait, by the way, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it has a very psychedelic -y feel to it. It's funny doing these for you because sometimes people are like, they have a way more sort of outlandish view of what lucid dreaming is than I do. So they sort of relate to it like a, a psychic or something. And I'm like, 
I'm one of the few yeah. artists that sometimes I'm begging people to like read less into my artwork. You know? I find it fascinating to see how various influences filters through your brain and emerges in this unusual context of lucid dreaming. But to go beyond that, and to read in some deeper reality into the drawing that actually comes directly from me or is telling me something about my life, that would be hard for me to go that step. The reason I like engaging in lucid dreaming through artwork is because art is all about asking questions, right? It's not about settling on answers. And I think that is the most healthy way for me to engage with lucid dreaming. I, I do it in like a playful way and I just always keep an open mind and I try to be comfortable with the ambiguity and the mystery of dreams.